This is Mr. Hames, and I'm with... Evelyn. And today we're testing physical and chemical... <laughs> Properties. Properties. Let's do this. Are you ready? Yes. That's a high five for you. Nice. So what we have here, Emmeline, is three different chemicals. This first one over here is copper. What can you describe about copper? Think color and what it looks like. Um, it kind of looks like sparkles which pinkish orange okay cool yeah pinkish orange is a good way to describe it or depending on the way the light hits it it has kind of this bronzish orange brown color ever held a penny before in the line yeah. that's what a penny is mostly made of is copper this one is lithium chloride this is a dangerous one so we wanna, we're not going to touch it and we're not going to get our mouse and we're going to stay right here but this one's really simple what does it look like to you like big blocks of snow White. Yeah, and it's kind of powdery like snow. Looks kind of like, mm, I don't know, baking soda or something like that. Yeah. However, it is not baking soda. It's called lithium chloride. So we're not going to mess with it because it's a scary chemical. This is a chemical called cobalt chloride. Want to describe this one, Em? Um, it's kind of like little jewel rocks, tiny and kind of sparkly. In science, we call jewel rocks crystals. The way, way it formed is in a crystalline structure, so you can kind of see it looks kind of like little crystals. It's coarse, it's green, and what color is it? Um, pinkish reddish. Yeah, I agree. It's like a pinkish reddish, almost purple, okay? So these things that we just described about these three chemicals are called physical properties. A physical property is a property that can be observed without changing what the substance is. In other words, I can just look at it and physically tell things about the chemical. So saying color, texture i could do smell we're not going to smell them i could do taste but we're not going to taste them because we don't know what chemicals do when we get them on our body so we're just going to be careful um, but right now we're going to just describe physically the color and texture of each of these chemicals pretty cool huh yeah what did you think about the colors of those chemicals um they're pretty cool yeah well you want to see something cooler yeah we just tested physical properties now let's test something called chemical properties are you ready Leave those goggles on, though. Okay. All right, let's do this. So what a chemical property is, Em, and I'm going to have you stay right there so you're at a safe distance, is something that can only be observed if we do a chemical test. And one of the easiest chemical tests we can do is burning something, the flammability test. This is something called a flame test. You can sit a little closer there. But anyway, a flame test is a test in which we test the flammability of a substance. So before we observe physical properties, physical properties can be observed just by looking at the substances. But chemical properties, chemical properties can only be observed if we test them chemically. In other words, they're kind of hidden until we reveal them later. So let's try to reveal them. What I'm doing is taking a Q-tip and I'm going to take cobalt chloride first. That was the one that physically looked purple and looked like it was in a crystal structure. Now watch what happens when I put it in this flame. Are you ready, Em? Yeah. It's burning. Yeah, it's burning. Is it kind of a cool color? Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of hard to tell where you guys are at, but how would you describe the color of the, f right now it's blue, but what was the color of the flame when I tested cobalt chloride in there? Did it to be like yellow? Yeah, it's kind of yellow. I see some white in there. Do you hear anything when I do that? It's like a spark. Ooh, that's a good way to describe it. It's like a crackling or a spark or something like that. So cobalt chloride, when it burns, it kind of crackles. It kind of makes a whitish, light orange spark. Sometimes you see a little bit of purple in there, but most of the time it looks just like what you saw there. The next one I'm going to do is lithium chloride. That was the one that just by itself looks white. Okay, it looks like a white powder. Watch this flame color, Em. Are you ready? Yeah. Red! Oh, yeah, kind of red, kind of orange. You see any pink in there too? Yeah, pink. Do you know whose favorite color is pink? Who? Well, what's your favorite color? Pink. Bingo, I guess you. Pink and blue. So this is like, look at it, if I do a half and half, it looks like cotton candy. 
Um, lithium chloride burns a bright pink flame, and it's really, really pretty and beautiful. This is my favorite one to do the flame test with. So physical properties of lithium chloride were that it's white and it's powdery like baking soda. A chemical property is that it burns a pink flame. All right, the last one was the copper, which is kind of a bronzish brown color, sometimes a little red or orange or yellow hints in there, and this is what it looks like in the flame. Green! Yeah, it's like a green, it looks like the northern lights Kind of a green, pretty, uh, almost turquoise color, but yeah, it's a green flame. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So why do we do this? Well, it's to show people like Emmeline and my middle school students that there's a difference between physical and chemical properties. Hey, she did it. And this is just to demonstrate that physical properties can be observed just right there. Uh, by looking at it, they are present on the substance, but chemical properties can only be observed if you do a chemical test, um, like we did with our flame test lab in class. Okay? Okay. Was that fun? Yes. All right, let's say bye. Bye. All right. Hey, you're on fire. <gasps> Get it? Fire, because there's, there's flames there. It's whatever. Okay. You guys have a good day.